Next up is our Bookster segment. Bookster is a website for book lovers and much more. We are excited to welcome author Cass Morgan. Her new book is called Light Years. She's also written the well-known sci-fi series The 100, which has been adapted into a TV show on The CW. Welcome, Cass. Thank you guys so much for having me. Yeah, glad Delighted to Delighted to be here. Yes. <laughs> Can you tell us more about your book? Yes. So Light Years, like The 100, is science fiction, but this one takes place in a completely different galaxy, and it's about four kids who've been accepted to an elite military boarding school in space where they are training to fight a dangerous enemy. But because they're good multitaskers, they still find time to keep secrets and maybe <laughs> fall in love along the way. Super exciting. So how many books are in this series? This is going to be a duology. I'm okay. uh, wrapping up edits for book two right now. Ooh, we can't wait. <laughs> and okay. I'm sorry. No. Okay. Yeah. So what was it like to see your show become, uh, excuse me, your book become a TV show? It's been incredible. The first few weeks were a little surreal. It's sort yeah. of like waking up in the morning, turning on the TV, and then seeing your dreams from last night on screen. You just wonder <laughs> who hacked into your head. But wow. it's just the most flattering, wonderful thing that can happen to an author to see your vision adapted yeah. by so many creative people with so mm -hmm. many different talents. So as a, little, a young girl, did you grow up watching sci-fi? Has that always been something that you've been really intrigued by and, and that's inspired your writing? Yeah, uh, I grew up reading a lot of sci-fi, watching Star Wars and Star Trek. And it isn't something I really imagined myself doing. There weren't a lot of women sci-fi creators when I was mm. growing yeah, you up. Yeah, hear about that often. Yeah, yeah. but for, you know, over the past decade or so, there's been sort of an explosion. And it's mm -hmm. so great to be able to inspire, hopefully, the next generation of nerdy <laughs> creators. <laughs> Yeah, Very speaking cool. of like dystopian uh, books and just the culture in general, it's blown up. Why do you think we love these stories so much? Oh, God. Um, I think it depends. My answer has sort of changed over the past few okay. years. <laughs> Earlier, I would say that people like scaring themselves and sort of imagining the worst case scenario. Mm. And now that some people might feel like some of those predictions might be coming true. What I love about sci-fi is that it's more hopeful than dystopian. Mm. Sort of dystopian literature imagines the end of the world and sci-fi imagines rebuilding. So I think mm. people like thinking about these, al you know, these alternative realities and how the future might be better. So let's take a step back and talk about your process. How do you approach a new series when you're developing a new world and characters? It's extremely creative, but what's your process like? For me, it's all about character. I think about the world and sort of whose stories I want to follow throughout that mm. world. So mm. for Light Years, I knew I really wanted one of my characters to be an ambitious girl fighter pilot who wants to be the best at this military academy and doesn't apologize for that. Mm. I was really interested in exploring a female character who's unabashedly ambitious. And then I thought about who the perfect foil would be for her. So I came mm. up with a character who, I call him a boy from the wrong side of the <laughs> asteroid belt. <laughs> And he's sort of rebellious and doesn't take the school that seriously. And he sort of questions everything she's been working for her whole life. But of course, there's some chemistry. Of course. Yeah, so that's kind of it really. Use that love story. Yes. There. Exactly. So a character first, and then sort of the plot comes out of that. Did you have like mentors growing up in this space, like, or people that you saw on screen or in the um, um, book space that inspired uh, you? Yeah, I mean, I'm really lucky. My dad's a writer, so okay. he's always okay. been an inspiration for me. And I had teachers who encouraged me. Mm. A lot of the writers I grew up reading are dead, so mm. I don't know that they're necessarily mm -hmm. like living mentors, but just. Mm -hmm. You know, growing up and seeing that anyone who has a story in their head and who works hard in it, there's going to be people out there who are going to, you know, want to experience it with them. What's it been like to hear from fans and readers um, when they're reading your book or they're watching the show? What is it like just to hear their feedback? It's surreal and so flattering. A lot of uh, times people come in costume now to my signings, That's dressed cool. up yeah, okay. as characters from the show, and to get to see my books and the TV adaptation inspire other people's creativity mm -hmm. with fan fiction and cosplay. It's great to see people expressing themselves sort of within the confines of your world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How have you evolved as a person since this whole process has taken off? I think I've developed a little bit of a thicker skin. Yeah. Um, having a book published is a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Having a TV show adapted from that book is an even bigger dream come true. But yeah. that means your story is being shared with a wide variety of people who want to share their opinions too. So I've had to learn that you know, it's not just about me and everyone mm. is entitled to their opinion and they're going to let me know what that opinion is and yeah. that's okay. 
Uh, have you ever thought about, ooh, maybe I'll make a cameo in one of the episodes? Have the producers talked to you about that? It's hard when your show is on the CW because okay. it's all beautiful Australian youths. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be hard to make me not stand out. But, you know, the the 100 has a lot of great costumes. Yeah. So maybe if they put enough makeup on me, you know, cover me in feathers or fur, it'll work. That would be really cool yeah. just to be a part of that project. Yeah. yeah. Any sneak peeks for the next adaptation of your book series? Uh, so the hundred season six is uh. starting soon. I actually don't know what's going to happen. Uh. I watch basically as a fan, which no one in my life believes. My mother thinks I'm keeping secrets from her. So mom, <laughs> if you're watching, I don't know. So I'm as excited as everyone is. That is super exciting yeah. for your work to be produced into a TV show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And where can we find out more information about you and where can we get your book? Uh, my book is available everywhere books are sold. And I'm on Twitter as Cass Morgan Books. All right. All right let's follow Cass and let's pick up that book. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.